Hi everybody, my name is Malik and in this new video tutorial, I will teach you how to install the new Windows 10 on a computer instead of Windows 7 without losing your personal data and at the same time maintain your Microsoft license. And also, before installing the new Windows 10, you do not need to create a backup of your personal files and save them on another drive because this method will automatically save all your photos, videos, and other personal files, after which the installer will place your files in the Windows old folder. To show you how this method works, I placed several folders with photos, videos, and other files on my Windows 7 desktop, and after the Windows 10 installation is complete, you will see these files unchanged. Also, all your apps and games will be saved in the Windows old folder, and after installation, these apps will still work on the new Windows 10. And so, follow me like in the video, step by step, and you will install the new Windows 10, you will not lose your Microsoft license, and you will save all your personal files in this easier way. First, you need to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 10, and to do this, connect a USB flash drive of at least 8GB to your computer. I have already done this, and the capacity of my USB flash drive will be quite enough. Now open your browser, and in the browser search engine type, download Windows 10. Or open the description of my video, and click on the link to the Windows 10 download page. A page has been opened on the Microsoft website. Here you can find out all the details about using Windows 10. To download Windows 10 on your computer, click here and the media creation tool will be downloaded on your computer. The application has loaded and you can close the browser. I open the Explorer folder, then the Downloads folder and double-click on Media Creation Tool. The application has been started and here you must accept the Microsoft license terms. We don't need to update our computer, we need to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. Next. In this window, you can select any language for Windows 10. I choose English. Next. In this window, you must select to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive. Next. And the creation of a bootable USB flash drive began. We don't have to do anything for a while. You can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The process is completed. Click Finish. Let's look at our flash drive. Yes, all the necessary files are on the USB flash drive. And now you need to restart the computer and start installing Windows 10. To boot your computer from a USB flash drive, you must call the boot menu. To do this, immediately after the start of the reboot, constantly press the key to call the boot menu. I press F9, for you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. Find your bootable USB flash drive in the boot menu. Press Enter. The installation menu opens. Next. Here click Install Now. In this window, click, I don't have a product key, because your new Windows 10 will activate automatically. In this window, you must select the same edition of Windows 10 that you had before. If you had Windows 7 Home, select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate, you need to select Windows 10 Pro, and then your Microsoft license will be saved, and the new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. I used to have Windows 7 Professional, and that's why I choose Windows 10 Pro, next. I accept the license terms. Next. To continue with the installation, click here. In this window we see drive C of my computer and several small system partitions. I have only one 120 gigabyte drive connected to my computer. It is possible that in addition to drive C, your drive also has drive D or several other drives connected to the computer. But in any case, 
You do not need to do anything with these disks and partitions in this window so as not to lose personal data. To continue installing the new Windows 10, you need to click on the C drive and then click Next. You will immediately see a message from the installer. From this message you will learn that after the installation of the new Windows 10 is completed, all your personal files will be placed in the Windows old folder, and you can use your files in the new Windows 10. Click OK, and the Windows 10 installation will begin immediately. You don't have to do anything for a while, and you can relax. Your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The Windows 10 installation is coming to an end and now we have to do some configurations. Choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. I will use Windows for myself. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account information. If you don't have a Microsoft account, click Create Account and then follow the prompts to sign up. I'll create a local account and I'll click here. In this window, you must enter your username. Next. You'll need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. I'll turn off all these privacy settings so my computer will run faster. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there is not much left. Yes, I did it, and now I have a new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. I press the button, start, then settings. And here we will see how the automatic activation of the system went. Yes, I have Windows 10 Pro installed and activated with my digital license. Now I open Explorer, then this PC, and double-click the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder, then the Users folder. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 7, and I open the desktop. Yes, here is my old videos folder and my photos folder, and I will check if I lost my files or not. No, I didn't lose anything, my files were saved. Now we will see how my programs were saved using this method. Let's open this PC again, then drive C and open Windows old again. Here you need to open program files where installed programs are usually located. And now I will show you how to use programs from old Windows 7. I open the folder of one of the programs. Right click on the icon of this program and select send to desktop. Then I double-click the icon, and the program launches safely. In the same way, you can use all your old Windows 7 applications. I hope this method helps you perform a clean installation of the new Windows 10 and not lose your license and keep your personal files and applications. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day, everyone.